But with these things, there are always the potential for it falling into the wrong hands. Yeah. I mean, who, um, who is going to be pressing the button? So in 2021 in the US, they've already started using brain implants the size of a matchbox. Mm. Um, so yes, invasive, but, and the comparison is that we've been using electroconvulsive therapy for years and- That was not good. But it's still being used and you know people have different experiences with that obviously there's a lot of negative side effects but what they're saying is by instead having a smaller implant it you can monitor the feelings more subtly those subtle nuances and changes you can monitor that and then you can give a gentle little shock instead of going in for a full-on ECT treatment every so often so that's the but idea that it's right. the surgery so still itself in the brain it's just a little bit less it. <laughs> and then, then there's, I mean, there's, there's the, the, with these things, there are always the potential for it falling into the wrong hands. I mean, who is going to be in charge? Because it, eventually it'll be an app on your phone. Who is going to be in charge of that app? So Who's you can overdose on, on, on electric. <laughs> on electric, on electric. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's me, all really interesting, but it doesn't talk about the cause. Yeah. And it doesn't also talk about recovery from these things. Mm. It's about ongoing management, yeah. managing symptoms mm. as if you could never get rid of that. For me, I think there's a difference between some of the conditions that they mentioned there that are more physical and neurological in That's nature. True. Things like Parkinson's, which my, my dad had. And, yeah. you know, at that point when you're so unwell, it's like, hey, try anything. If yeah. it's going to make me feel better, make me move better, then yeah, let's go for it. Um, but. You know, that's, we understand, even though it's not very well understood, it's better understood as a physical condition, whereas a mental health issue is more of the mind, it's more of the emotions. So again, like kind of what you said, what's the underlying cause? Can you really treat something non-physical with a physical treatment like that? I guess you can alleviate the symptoms. You could. You but could. equally, so but you can do that with medication too. And then Let's say that, uh, which this happens a lot in therapy, mm -hmm. uh, the person that is coming to you with a mental health problem, mm -hmm. the cause of that is because they're in a toxic relationship. Okay, yeah. Now, are we going to give them this so they feel better with a button every time, but they still yeah. remain in the toxic and dangerous yeah. relationship? So there's a lot of issues that mm -hmm. come up with this. If we're only addressing symptoms, which is fantastic, don't get me wrong, <laughs> you want yeah, to remove the, the pain. There's yeah. no issue with that. However, you know, there's too much focus on that. Yeah. If there's too much focus on that, what have we done? Yeah. Watch this space. Uh, I am I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm ambivalent on this type of research. Uh, but it's still interesting. Well, at the end of the day, I think everybody's choice how they want to address their own, yeah. you know, yes. well-being concern. Well, I don't think I'm ready to, I'm whole not whole an early adopter though. I'm not no. ready to jump into yes. new things very easily. Well, from what you're saying, it doesn't seem to be an early adoption. It's a later adoption wow. of, a, of a highly controversial and dangerous modality, which is ECT. Um, and they're trying to make it a little bit more self-controlled, but you know, um, who is going to be pressing the button? Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week. So when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.